Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. When I stepped on the ice uh, the other day, it was the first time I stepped on the ice here and, and didn't get yelled at. So uh, that was a positive. Um, but it's been good. Yeah, it's uh, the guys have and the fans have uh, welcomed me uh, with open arms, and it's been good. And I'm excited to get the get the role started and the season started. And tell me more about your role. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that um, you know Todd and I have been discussing for a, you know a large portion of the of the summer. Um, with Danny obviously moving on to Coventry, um, you know, there was definitely a need to kind of get assistance and, and have someone in to, to bounce things off, uh, you know, certainly on the pro side of things. Um, you know, and it kind of just, we, we kind of took it uh, step by step over the summer and kind of got to know each other and got to kind of understand each other's philosophies and, you know, we reached an agreement uh, towards the back end of the summer and thought that uh, you know our styles uh, you know would be a, a good fit um, and I, I couldn't be uh, happier. Just how excited are you to, to be here? I am I, I think you know um, I've been in the UK a long time been in Scotland uh, you know for seven odd years um, you know and I went over to China last year and, and had a good experience there and um, you know, but it's good to be back in, in, in into in the elite league. You know, I've been part of the league for a long, long time, and um, you know, I generally like the the style of play here, and um, hopefully, uh, you know, can continue on and, and and be part of it for for years to come. And being back in the elite league, how much did you enjoy being player coach at, at Dundee Stars pre- previous to being in Asia? Yeah, I, mean, I think player coach is is probably the hardest coaching job in hockey um you know it's uh, certainly in the elite league you know you're recruiting 13 imports in the summer and you know you have to maintain your own fitness and you know you, ha- you know as you get older it becomes harder to, to maintain your fitness and um it's a lot of work and you know for any of the player coaches out there you know i, I can understand you know the work that they put in um you know certainly you know it it's one of those things that you know uh, can go really good or it could really go bad. Um, you know there is a value in having a guy on the bench and, and being an organizer, um, and, and that being his, his sole job. Um, that being said, uh, you know I did like it. I did like being part of the atmosphere with the guys and, and kind of, you know I think the biggest you know respect you have you know from your players is that you know if you're if you're digging in the trenches with them. You know, and blocking shots and doing the little things, and you know they respect you. And I think the biggest, uh, the hardest thing is 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 trying to tell players what to do and 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 not being able to do them yourself. And I think that's, you know, whether it be age, whether it be fitness, whether it be skill level, uh, is is the hardest part about being a player coach. And um, you know, there were ups and downs, but certainly, uh, you know, I wouldn't have changed things. Since leaving Dundee Stars, tell me about the experience of coaching in, in Asia and just what did you learn from that? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it was a, obviously, a, um, you know, an opportunity that, uh, you know, there was some, some you know, positives and negatives of, uh, about it. But I would say the biggest thing was experience, experiencing the culture and, and certainly experiencing a different uh, hockey culture. I mean, I think, you know, they've... You know they've really embraced hockey, um, but in terms of skill level and, and development, they're they're very at the early stages. Um, you know when you compare them to other Asian countries, um, I think China's you know about 20 years behind Korea and and, and Japan. So um, they've got a lot of catching up to do. There is a lot of skill there. Um, they're really strong skaters. Um, you know, but structurally, I think you know. They just haven't had that development, um, and, you know, and they lack the little things in their game at the moment. I think part of my role, you know, also being the head coach of the of the the um, pro team, you know, was to bring on the younger guys, and it's not a, a you know dissimilar role than than what I'm here to do here is, is you know help and kind of give advice to you know dudes and and you know develop players that we think potentially within the the Kakati, uh junior system can come up and play for the Flyers one day and you know it's my job to work with Stephen Lynch and, and kind of identify those players um, and once we do identify the players that potentially could you know make the jump is to develop them get them ready to play um, you know I think the ownership group here um, you know one of their big things is they want to develop from within um, 
and you know they've taken a big step this year and kind of put the f- f- foundations in place uh, to do that. How confident are you that you can bring these players through and from what from the junior development into into the Flyers first team? Well, I mean, certainly let's not kid ourselves. It's not going to be an overnight process, and it's not going to be you know will it happen this year. I mean, I think for me, my job is is kind of this year is to kind of work with the guys that we already do have, um, you know, and get them playing more, um, you know. And, you know, it is a very tough balance, and, you know, and I, I went through it in Dundee. It's a very tough balance to, you know, winning and development is, is a very tough balance to, you know, and it, it's, in on one hand, you've got people screaming that they want local kids to play, and then on the other hand, you know, um, they want to win, and, and that's that's the, the tough balance that, that you know, that certainly myself and, and Deuce has probably faced over the last five years. Um, but again, it, it's it's about working with the guys we have now, but also working towards bringing new guys, new blood from within up into the team. And can I put a timeline on it? No, I think uh, it's certainly going to be a work in progress. And you know, whether that is one year, two years down the line, I think you know we're going to give ourselves an opportunity to bring these kids up and, and, and in a position to, uh, you know, to play. I mean, you look at a, um, Sheffield, I think, are doing a really good job at the moment of bringing young guys in, you know, and then they're doing apprenticeships and, and being ready to play, and I think they've had good success. So I think modeling ourselves after organizations such as that is, is a good way to, to go about it. In terms of what you've seen uh, this week, um, in terms of the player recruitment, what do you make of the, the Flyers roster for this, this campaign? Yeah, I think we're um, full of speed. Um, I think we got a lot of speed. I think, you know, there is some some gritty elements in there. Um, you know, it's going to be a different league. You know, I think, you know, when I came in about 10 years ago, I think it was pretty similar in terms of the blend of skill and, and, and toughness. And I think, you know, you know, seeing NHLers come <laughs> come into the league and, you know, legit NHL tough guys, it's... it's uh, yeah, it's going to be a change, and it's going to. We'll see how it plays out. I think in the past, you know, over the last ten years, I think, you know, a lot of those guys come in and and, and they're off by Christmas just because games get tighter and and you know, um, you know, there's just not that need for them anymore. But the guys and the quality of the guys that are coming in now are, you know, the the new era. Um, I would say tough guys. Are, you know, they can play. I mean, they they've played at a high level, and I don't care if you're. You know, in the NHL or the AHL, you know, you need to be able to take a, a regular season, a regular shift, and um, I'm I'm confident that the guys that are in this league now and that have come to this league will be able to compete on a night nightly level. So, um, it's a be interesting to see. Finally, um, how excited are you to get the hockey season exhibition games underway this this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good. I mean, I I don't anticipate that we're going to have all our guys in um, various visa troubles um i mean not troubles but uh, you know just admin stuff um but it'd be good to see the team together be good to see them on the ice you know and and it might not be the sharpest you know in terms of systems but for us it's going to be more about you know getting out the bad habits out um you know upping our tempo um learning new systems um and you know getting bumped around i think you can you can lift weights and you can ride a bike all summer long, but until you get bumped and the wind gets knocked out of you, then you you know you don't know how good a shape you're in. And um, it was just good to just to get into the flow of things and you can get the routine down and the guys are all settled in and um, compete, compete for a trophy. Sure, Jeff. Thank you. No problem.